day, kids. All right. Haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I'd do a quick video showing you guys my new morning chore regimen. Um, let's start right here. What you doing? Uh, what you doing, goofy dog? You want to go out? Come on. <clears throat> well, what do we have here? <clears throat> what is this? What is this? Something you guys haven't seen. Something you guys haven't seen. This is the new additions to the family. <coughs> they do not have names yet. So let's set you up. What do you got? Oh boy, look what we got out here though. Look what we got out here. Yes. Duck eggs, guys. Really stop. Two. What I'm saying, just two. Yep, that's all I'm seeing is just two. Now, two is cool. All right. <clears throat> Gather up our implements of destruction. I don't know what she's barking at, but okay. All right, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. There you go. Jeez. Phew. While they run around, I clean up the pan. That's going to need some bathing. Um, looks like that's about it right there. Good. I know. You guys don't want to see this. You want to see puppies. But you know what, kids? You're going to have the puppies. This is a normal part of the chore, taking care of them. So if you're not going to take care of them correctly, don't get them. It's that simple. I'm going to get a little pile going over here, which I'll later pick up and move to a compost pile that box there got to go out to the garbage on Thursday it's not Thursday yet yeah hey Lily be nice be nice they're just checking you out yeah hi pups hi pups <clears throat> turn this around so you guys can see them running all over <clears throat> There they come. Oh, he's a good dog. Oh, he's a good dog. Hey, Poopalums. Hey, Poopalums. Hey, Poopalums. <clears throat> Lily, go play with him. Go on, go out there and play with him. Go on, go play with him.
Stop. <clears throat> Looking for more duck eggs. What do we get? Hi, puppies. Hi, puppies. Hi, puppies. Oh, good boy. Yeah, sure. This guy here is my love. This guy here is a lover. The little boy, he's a real sweetheart. He just loves coming to me. He loves getting petted. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's a loving little boy. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, hi. Yes. Oh, oh you're a good boy. Yes, you are. You good boy. Hi there, sweetie. Hi. Hi. Hi there. <coughs> hi, Lily. Don't break my eggs. Get down. Hi there. Hi there. Alright, let's get the chores. Let's get the chores. <clears throat> See, you guys already got my camera all dirty. Somebody got paw prints on top of it already. Imagine that. I wonder how that happened. Whoop. Surprisingly, they're leaving the duckies alone. Whoop. There we go. Start filling the water. Let me get that water dish out. I gotta clean it. Clean on the inside, but got a lot of poopy on the side of it. off the food dish now <clears throat> this evening I'm changing the food dish out for a different food dish come on get in there and just like that they are all once again contained the little beasties Whew. All right. First things first, puppy water and then duck water. <clears throat> there you guys go. Let's get the ducky water cleaned out. Now you may notice I got a new feeder for my ducks. And I'll tell you what, this thing is just the, the ideal feeder. This is a, what's known as a range feeder. <clears throat> Let me put the big camera on here so we can see this. <clears throat> why aren't we, why aren't we seeing what's being filmed? I really dislike this camera sometimes. All right, duckies, you're gonna get in the water. All right, this is a range feeder, and uh, this thing's pretty cool. Let me show it to you. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. All right, so it it has this large range shield cap in there. You dump the feed in, it holds. 50 pounds of feed, well, about 47 actually, and it keeps all the feed nice and dry and clean and works beautifully. Works absolutely beautifully.
You got more water for the duckies. <coughs> now I gotta wash up my eggs and get them put up. And that constitutes the morning chores. Good morning, Dakis. some more straw out over here in this muddy area. Alrighty then. You guys good, huh? You guys good? You all cleaned up and fed and watered? Now folks, this is just a temporary pen. So <clears throat> got the sun in the wrong spot. You go over here. Guys, this is just a temporary pen. This is not their permanent pen. I'm in the process of moving right now. And once I get my move completed. They'll be in their permanent digs, which is going to give them a lot more room and some better separation and stuff. But for right now, they've got an insulated doghouse, and they're safe and secure. <clears throat> they were in a much smaller pen where I got them from the breeder, actually. So this is more room than what they had. And it's fine for the four, small four pups right now. But they're very quickly going to get their space uh, more than doubled. And then they're going to have a bigger area to go outside and run. We let them out and let them run a couple times a day. So they get the whole yard to play around in, uh, but can't be out here 24 hours a day, unfortunately. So for now, this is what we've got. Now, while we're working on this, I'll let you see them again here. <clears throat> while we're working on this, I need to come up with names for these guys. Now, there's two of them, the two bigger ones. Um, whoops, somebody lost a collar. Wow. Okay. The uh, two bigger ones are one male and one female. This one's standing up right here, she's a female. And the one in the back back there, the big one, she is a female. And this guy down here is a male. The little guy's a male, female, and back there's a female. So I need to get names for them. And somebody has already lost their collar. Actually, yeah, just one so far. Now I gotta figure that out. What'd you do with your collar, huh? Where's your collar? Oh, I see it laying in there. Oh, they chewed it all up. They chewed it all up. Again, imagine puppies chewing up something. What? What, huh? What do you want? This morning, my ducks laid two eggs. Duck egg, chicken egg. Duck egg, nice thick shell, really tough membrane. Look how proud that stands up. Chicken egg, thin shell, thin membrane, watery. Again, another duck egg, thick shell, thick membrane, 
the thick gooey the white was thick and gooey you see how stringy it sticks together amazingly different <clears throat> We have yellow orange <clears throat> the duck eggs and look how they they stand up so much taller in the skillet duck eggs really are quite nice all right shut the heat off turn the heat off everywhere residual heat will finish big cooking everything now that's actually only three slices of bacon though. Which is more than I normally have. But it was the end of the package. I couldn't see just leaving one in there. So sometimes you, you know, you adjust life. <clears throat> okay, so there, there you can see me making a, a, a big breakfast for myself. Not my diet breakfast. That's kind of my, my usual breakfast, uh, although I would normally have hash browns with that as well. <clears throat> and I wonder why I'm so heavy. Anyhow, duck eggs, wow, so much better, so much better. That deep, rich orange color. Now, typically when we raise chickens at home, we would have that orange color in our, uh, in our egg yolks, but those store-bought eggs, the whites of them are runny, uh, watery, not runny, like, you know, when you cook an egg, you want the yolk to be runny. But, but when you break them out of the shell, the white's very runny, very watery. Whereas the duck eggs are very uh, gelatinous, I guess, for lack of a better word. Uh, creamy. <clears throat> the whites cooked down, they're more creamy and, and solid and, and nice. Anyhow, <clears throat> a couple of things I want to touch base with. Dogs, breeding. Uh, new, new, old, <laughs> new, old part of my life. Uh, I have been uh, around and breeding Labrador Retrievers most of my life. <clears throat> uh, and I'm going to get back into that for a couple of reasons. Um, one, because I really enjoyed it. Two, because it's a good way for a senior citizen, which I'm quickly becoming, <clears throat> with limited mobility, to be able to earn an income independently on my own, um, while at the same time creating tremendous joy and happiness for lots of people. And to me, that's a win-win. <clears throat> so yes, I'm going to pimp out my dogs, <laughs> as it were. <clears throat> uh, and that is why I uh, acquired all these new puppies. Uh, they're the beginning of a new uh, chapter in my life. Uh, again, as old chapter in my life, I'm gonna get back into dog breeding <clears throat> and uh, trying to produce some really good top quality field dogs and pets for people and that's what it's all about now a lot of people are going oh you know we have so many so many puppy mills out there and yada 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 okay yeah there are so i want to kind of head that off head first let's just go dive right at it <clears throat> less than one tenth of one percent of the dogs in america end up in a shelter less than one pet one percent one tenth of one percent so it's not a very large percentage of dogs end up in shelters. There's a ton of good dogs in shelters. And I highly recommend for people to go and get those dogs from the shelters. Absolutely. Uh, however, that's not the majority of the dogs. It, it's, uh, it, it's part of the reality of it. Uh, much like us having homeless people on the streets of America is very much part of being uh, a human being and being an American. So yes, I, I highly recommend for people to go and get the dogs from the pounds, from the from the kill facilities especially. Um, far too many of them are in there. However, that said, 
<clears throat> I raise very high-end quality lavender retrievers. Um, you know, these things sell for uh, the bottom eight fifty on up to fifteen hundred dollars a puppy. Very good, high quality, top top bloodlines in the nation, and I'll go into that more in a future video. <clears throat> these are some of the top field dogs in the nation. Now, my sister Marianne, she raises top show dogs, the the, the fat squat English style dogs. I prefer the American style dogs, which are taller, thinner, and can cover more ground, more the hunting dog. There's a, a very uh, there's a divergence happening in the Labrador Retriever world right now. So, <clears throat> so anyhow, um, and my dogs are high end for field dogs, pet dogs, uh, but very cheap compared to the kind of money my sister gets for her show puppies. <clears throat> I've never in my life conceived of spending five, six, eight thousand dollars on a puppy, but I guess she gets that. So, God bless her. <clears throat> The point is, it's not just about the money. Um, if you've ever seen the, the sheer joy and the pleasure that people get from, from the day they go and pick out their puppy, or the, the love and affection uh, that they get, you know, from their dog, Lily, that they get from their dog all the time, like my dog. This is Miss Lily, and she has been an absolute pure joy of my life. Without a doubt, she has been the love of my life. And as you can see, she's quite loving and affectionate, and she likes to be up in my lap. Yes, she do. And for me to be able to bring that kind of love and, and affection and joy into other people's lives is what being a responsible dog breeder is all about. And again, I'll go into more details about how we go about breeding and what we do when we sell a puppy and how we transfer that puppy to the new owner and <clears throat> putting chips in them so they can be identified. Um, in all of the dog breeding that I've done, and there's been a lot, I only had one of my dogs that we're aware of that was ever turned into a facility. <clears throat> and surprisingly, it was in Montana. And surprisingly, uh, it was a dog that we sold to a, to, to a, a minister, uh, a person who absolutely astounded me that they would turn it into the uh, to the shelter but uh, for whatever reason their circumstances happened that they were not able to put the time into the puppy as it was young and needed it and by the time they could put the time in uh, it was the problem it was problematic it was behavioral issues and they were embarrassed to buy that which they should not have been they should have recalled us up and we could have rehomed the dog instead they took it to the shelter the shelter scanned it, found the chip, called us up, said, hey, we have one of your dogs here. They knew us, of course, because we always have a good relationship with our, our local shelters. Um, I, I am in the habit of dropping off feed and supplies to them as needed from time to time to try to help those dogs that are uh, in there. So it's just something that we have to deal with uh, on a regular basis. It's unfortunate, but if you're a responsible breeder, you know, you're, you're not a puppy mill cranking out a whole bunch of puppies, a whole bunch of different breeds. I only breed Labrador Retrievers. I only breed very good quality, high-end uh, Labrador Retrievers, and like Miss Lily. Miss Lily is a high-end, uh, exceptional Labrador Retriever. Now, <clears throat> from a show dog perspective, she has a, a strike against her because she's got a little white spot on her chest. But as a field dog and as a dog, as a pet, matters not. It matters not. Uh, she's she's a yellow registered AKC registered Labrador Retriever and she can compete in agility and she can compete in hunt tests and all that kind of stuff. So she's playing with her bone right now. <clears throat> so I wanted to address this. You know, people are going to come down and criticize me for breeding dogs. Somebody's got to breed dogs. Doing it responsibly uh, and, and bringing, again, bringing all the love and joy into people's lives. All the affection, all the companionship. Um, and if you're not a dog owner, you, you probably don't understand. If you're a dog owner, you know what I'm talking about. So <clears throat> I look forward to that. I, I, I get great joy out of seeing people come and pick up their puppies. Lily, well, don't knock the camera over. <laughs> Go that. Okay, girl. <clears throat> and that's what this is all about. So that's why we have the puppies. We're going to be breeding Labrador Retrievers and selling puppies. Uh, we'll be doing that. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of that going forward. 
Uh, where I have them now is a temporary facility. Let me address that too while I'm here. <clears throat> it's a temporary facility. We are going to be moving. We're in the process of moving right now. Um, I guess while I'm doing an update, let me just say that things with Johanna and I did not work out, which is unfortunate. I have a tremendous amount of love and affection for Johanna. Uh, but we're, you know, 20 years after we divorced, we're just not the same people we were back then. So, <clears throat> so we're, uh, I'm, I'm in the process of finding my own place, proving to be a lot more difficult than I expected, but uh, we're making good inroads and, and we've located some, identified some properties and we're just now waiting to hear. So pretty soon I'll be fine, uh, in a new location. Um, <clears throat> so that's a little bit of an update to my channel that you guys weren't aware of. Some of you are, most of you are. Uh, so we'll be starting something new. It'll be back to homesteading, putting in a garden, raising our ducks, raising poultry, pigs, ducks, chickens, geese, turkeys, piggies, cows, horses, um, dogs, <laughs> and no lions, tigers, or bears, or, or, or effalumps or woozles. <clears throat> Anyhow, so that's kind of our update. So we're, we're going in a direction, we're going back to homesteading, but we're also going to be doing a lot of dog breeding along the way. And so I hope you guys will enjoy watching uh, watching that. Now, if you are a, 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 a lover of Labrador Retrievers, there's a channel called Life with Labradors. Uh, I highly recommend it. The guy does some pretty funny stuff. He's got, he also breeds Labrador Retrievers. He's just had a litter of puppies, and so uh, it's fun and it's cute to watch. So you might check out Life with Labradors. A little shout out to him. Uh, but anyhow, we'll be getting our breeding and stuff going on the way. There'll be lots and lots and lots of video coverage of newborn baby puppies all the time. So I think you guys will probably get a big kick out of that and enjoy it. So with that said, that's the new morning chores video. Uh, not just feeding the water and the ducks, but taking care of the, uh, the, the puppies as well. And once we get in a new location, we'll have a, a lot better facilities for you. Uh, right now, what, what I've got is all I can do here um, for, for a number of reasons. Uh, so once we get relocated, they'll have bigger, uh, new and bigger pens and a bigger exercise yard. I don't like them being where they are right now. I will say where they are right now, I put rubber mats down <clears throat> on the ground to keep them up out of the mud. Uh, so there's a rubber mat down underneath their pan. And then we keep straw down to absorb, you know, the, the fecal matter and urine and that kind of stuff. And I rake it out every day and change it out. Uh, feed dishes do get washed out and cleaned every day. Usually that's part of our evening chores. Um, and that's about it. We have them on a good, high, high quality uh, puppy chow, which uh, they're doing very well with. Uh, and today I'm probably going to have to go get them some chew toys because uh, <laughs> they're, they're chewing up collars, so uh, they need stuff to keep them busy while they're in the pen. So, Anyhow, kids, we'll have more for you later. Be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and we will see you later. Bye.